this is Paul Hafner, AECO Application Product Specialist. I'm going to take you through the system maintenance screens in this Rogator C-Series. To access system maintenance, you have two ways you can get in there. You can hit the system maintenance icon on the white switch on the armrest, or you can hit the upper left-hand corner button. You can hit the system maintenance icon on the screen. It brings you into this screen here. And this is where you have the options for your full system recovery, your rinse options, your air boom cleanout, as well as a valve mat. The next icon that we have is for the rinse features. And here we have three different rinse options. I have the rinse tank, which rinses the main product tank, and the rinse plumbing, which takes care of the plumbing on the boom machine itself, all the way out to the boom tips. And then we have a, what's called a rinse out nozzles which leaves the product tank alone, but then just rinses the boom plumbing and then sprays that out the nozzles. To go into one of them, you'll hit the go button. Again, a pop-up screen comes up, letting you know what needs to be done. So, close the bypass valve, open the blue rinse valve, set the three-way valve to the tank rinse position, and then if you have a manual sump, making sure that that is open. You hit the check mark, and then it gives you some instructions on what you need to do while the tank is being rinsed. So after the fresh water has been brought in, you'll close the rinse valve. You can open your white bypass valve to make sure that that is being rinsed. And then you'll operate the agitation or your sparge valve. Full, full open to full closed with that. And then if your machine is equipped with an adductor, you'll make sure that you switch your rinse valve over to the adductor position to rinse it as well. Once you have completed all of them, you come back and you'll hit the check mark, and that will shut the pump off, close the valves, and you're ready to move on to the next step. Next we have the rinse plumbing. So if we hit the go on there, and it gives you a little information first. Plumbing rinse will push product back into the product tank, and it's asking if you want to continue. So if you had product left in the tank and you wanted to rinse your boom plumbing, it's just letting you know that rinse water is coming back in. This may not be the right option for you. But if you're using this after you've rinsed the tank, we can now rinse the plumbing and use the rinse water to run all the way through all the boom plumbing. So instead of just spraying out the water that we used to rinse the tank, now we're flushing it through all the boom plumbing, increasing the amount of rinsing that we actually get done. Again, it gives you the instructions on how to set the valves, make sure everything is ready to go. And you just hit the check mark when you're done. Now, if you're in a situation where you have product left in the product tank, but you want to rinse out the boom plumbing, that's what the last option here is for. This is rinse out nozzles. So what this will do is going to close off the tank, and then just pull fresh water from your top tank and use that to spray out the boom plumbing. And it's going to spray out the nozzles. So once we've hit the check mark there, it says turn the boom sections on to rinse out the nozzles. Now this is going to be your blue switches that are located on the armrest. So once we're at this point, we're going to go through and we're going to turn on the blue switches. And this is going to allow the spray to go out those nozzle bodies. Once we are done, we will hit the check mark to complete that rinse.